pediatric section, evaluation of hemorrhagic disorders. Uh, first of all, in a patient like children or adolescents, we should uh, take in account any inherited disorders, uh, like glycoprotein problems, like uh, Bernard Soiler or Glassman thrombocenia. Uh, also, uh, uh, coagulation factors deficiency like um, uh, factor 8, 9 and 11 hemophilias they are X-linked from uh, father transmitted to sons and uh, von Willenbrand that is uh, uh, when we, we differentiating we see a normal platelet but not functioning properly it's about von Willebrand factor or um, or uh, uremia dysfunctional um, platelets so when we are taking uh, a history we should take a good examination of patient uh, of the whole body surface uh, taking in account uh, complaints uh, if patient showing us a direct lesion or uh, or a hemorrhage is evident. Also, we are doing laboratory assessment like platelets, bleeding time, uh, prothrombin time, partial activated partial thromboplastin time, von Willenbrand factor, and other coagulation factors, and thrombin time. Uh, important thing is to differentiate. Uh, a platelet hemorrhaging and coagulation factor deficiency hemorrhaging. Also, want to mention that we have uh, uh, many many problems uh, from from platelets. For example, one of them is a uh, decreased platelet count. Another is uh, defective or uh, poorly working platelets. Uh, like in a uremia and short uh, is a destruction of uh, platelets from uh, antibodies like in idiopathic thrombocytopenic uh, purpura. So when you have a uh, cause of platelets we will have a surface surface bleeding from any mucous membrane GI tract uh, or pulmonary uh, system or genital urinary like vaginal bleeding, uh, petechia, uh, chemosis, epistaxis, epistaxis is from uh, nasal mucosa, Kesselbach uh, plexus mostly, gingival bleeding. Here we have to differentiate with vitamin C deficiency and purpura. Purpura is uh, non blanching, um, non blanching uh, lesions or spots that. Do not blanch on a pressure applied, uh, and uh, I want to mention here that von Willenbrand factor deficiency. Again, it's a normal platelet count, but uh, a defective aggregation of platelets. Why? Because von Willebrand factor uh, and factor eight, because they work together with factor eight. Uh, do not adhere platelets to the vessel O. So when you see a surface bleeding, think about platelets. Surface bleeding, platelets. When you see a deep bleeding, like in joint hemarthrosis, uh, muscle hematomas, bleeding in cavities, think about coagulation factors. So surface bleeding is platelet. Deep bleeding is coagulation factor. Again, we, if patient have some inheritance or uh, we, we have a known problem in a parents, so think about hemophilias, most common. Uh, you will see a joint uh, swollen, uh, painful and red. Uh, a next, uh, next step in evaluation is platelet count. Again, platelet count is uh, normally from 150 to 400. Uh, 
if you have a decrease in a health of this um, of this number you should think about uh, idiopathic thrombocytopenia in pupa bleeding time bleeding time assessing uh, platelet function are they working properly or not so interaction of fibrinogen vessel wall von willebrand factor and qualitative platelet function so a decreased platelet count is called thrombocytopenia nothing new for you and uh, evaluation of prothrombin time shows extrinsic pathway this one is extrinsic this one is intrinsic and this is a common coagulation pathway uh, extrinsic uh, pathway measures factor 7 and 13 and uh, factor 7 and as many others are vitamin K dependent so also INR or international normalized ratio measures from this prothrombin how we calculate INR it's a patient prothrombin and uh, patient prothrombin uh, divided by a normal prosombin time uh, if this is um, uh, 22 seconds and normal is 11 second uh, ratio will be two slightly increased because uh, a normal range is uh, upper limit is 1.7 and partial or activated partial thromboplastin time measures intrinsic pathway this one uh, measures uh, uh, factors 8, 9, 11 and 12 uh, factor 10 here will be like from both pathways it's, it's a common pathway and thrombin time thrombin participate in the last, uh, last step of coagulation cascade it uh, transforming uh, fibrinogen in active form in a fibrin and promote clotting thank you for your watching uh, i hope you enjoy my videos if you did so please subscribe and follow me have a great day